Okay, let's take a look at what this is. Quick quiz, what is this? Google, I am sure you answered that question immediately. For the last 15 years, really, this word, Google, which was once upon a time, it was a search engine. Now it's actually a verb. It's still a search engine, of course, but it's become, let's just Google it. Well, I, I don't know where to get pizza. Google it. I don't know where to do takeout. Google it. I don't know how to get home from here. Google it. Everybody says Google it's the word for everything. So you use the internet on a regular basis. It's become such a huge part of your life. And today at the bell ringer, I'm asking you to tell me what are three ways in which you use, the, uh, we, which you currently use the internet. It can be three different ways. And again, list by type. So please don't tell me three different social media engines. Um, but you can say, I use it for social media. That's one of your ways. And then if you use it for school, that's a different way. But how do you use it for school? For school is really kind of general. I need to know. You know, I use it to research for my social studies class. That's one way in which I use the internet. Follow? So I'm sending you on, this is today's assignment. It's 1.4. It's called the Internet Scavenger Hunt. And what's going to happen with the Internet Scavenger Hunt is I have given you a list of 20 things to go find on this list. And I'm asking you for three things. I'm asking you to give me, and let me see if I can circle this up. I'm asking you to show me the picture or the thing that you're looking for, right? And I'm gonna erase that real quick because it's really making a big colossal mess. Um, I wish this had a laser pointer, that would be a lot more fun. And uh, then I'm gonna ask you to uh, find the steps that you took to find it. So tell me about that piece. What did you take to find it? And then finally, the URL of where you found it. So how that would look. Um, let's take a look at the picture of the mayor of your town or city. And I'm gonna do this the wrong way. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say a picture of the mayor of your town or city. And I'm going to copy it because everybody likes to say, oh, they gave me a question. I'll just copy it and throw it in Google. I'll Google the question. So I'll type it in here and I'll say, picture of the mayor of your town or city. Well, this is the mayor of Flora. This is the mayor of someplace I don't know. Oh, I'll go to view all. That's what I'll do. Wow. I don't think she's the mayor because that's a cartoon character, but maybe she's the mayor and maybe he's the mayor. Or maybe she's the mayor. I have no idea. Because I said your town. So why don't I say mayor of East Hartford. That's where I happen to live. And ooh, now it looks like it's here. And I have to make sure that she's the mayor of East Hartford. So I think it's her. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click on this particular mayor's office, East Hartford, Connecticut. And yes, mayor... Marsha LeClerc. Okay, so now I know she's the mayor. I've confirmed that she's the mayor. I can just get a picture. Then I'm going to copy the image and I'm going to go back to my internet scavenger hunt and I'm going to paste it in here. Copying and pasting is okay. Where did I find it? For sure, I ultimately knew it was her when I was here. So I copy and I paste the URL here. The steps I took to find it. Um, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to number it just to make it look nice. Google image. Search, found what looked like it probably was her. Followed link to website, copied image from website. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, how are you going to be graded? That's the first answer. How are you going to be graded? Well, I look at the bottom, and here's what's going to happen, right? Here's the rubric. If you find the item, I'll give you a point. It's a total of 20 out of 100, right? If I, you find the item and you describe the steps you, steps you took to it, I'll give you three points for that question. So that can get you up to a 60 and get you to a D minus. And then to finish this assignment and get a 100, you have to tell me the address that you found it at. So one point, three points, five points. You get 20 of these items, five points apiece. Um, after we're done, I've got some different activities about some different ways and strategies for using the internet. Um, that are going to really increase your skill set. Can do I have to do all this stuff alone? Man, that seems too much like work. In fact, you can work in a group of three, a maximum of three people in your group. Just make sure you put the names in here. So make sure I see Larry, actually Larry, Mo, and Curly, and make sure that I, in fact, get all three last names because we're still a little new for each other, and I want to make sure you get credit. One person turns it in for everybody. And if one person turns it in for everybody, that's great. If you're not sure, when you click turn in on your assignment, say I turned it in on so-and-so's uh, assignment so that I know 
where to give you credit for the work that you do today. That's all you got to do. Uh, it's pretty fun. And yes, you can work in groups of one, two, or three. You can work alone, but you don't have to. And have fun with it. And we're going to do more with this uh, starting Thursday in class. Thanks so much for watching.